So the meadow came about because there was a community need. So local groups were lacking open, quiet space. And that tied in really well with our lead ranger's idea to use this space in a joint way. We were looking for, to, to do something interesting in this field. Um, it was basically just a, a field that had been grazed for years, nothing too interested in here. And uh, we had, it came back in hand, so we had the opportunity to, to change the way we did things in here. Uh, so we thought, oh, we'll create a meadow. Yeah, we've got some meadows in front of the castle uh, and across the road from the castle. We'll just create another one because it's great for wildlife. And that's what we do, you know, wildlife and people. Um, but then we thought, well, no, can't we do something different? Um, and that's how we got the, the volunteer community team involved. And we thought, we'll do something different. We'll work with groups to create something that's great, not just for wildlife, but for people as well. You know, the well-being that people can get from being out in nature, the accessibility. So today is our celebration event. So all the participants that have come and been involved in planting and creating the space are here to enjoy it together. And we've got Natural Resources Wales here to um, see how the project's developed. We've got our funders here as well. So it's really a celebration of the space that everyone's played a part in. It started with the ranger team. They wanted to look at how they could improve the biodiversity in the meadow, but then they linked up with our communities team and started to think about, actually, this could be so much more, you know, because biodiversity and nature bring so much benefit to well-being as well. We started thinking about how could we connect with new audiences, how could we make this so much more than just a project on National Trust land. So our community team reached out and it started to emerge that the real gap was somewhere for people to go and to just enjoy and have that space to think and relax. And I think there is so much more need for that today than there has ever been. Yeah. We can do this in an SSSI, we can make this happen. This landscape can adapt and accommodate and be important for nature, but critically also important for people. And our vision is of nature and people thriving together. This for me feels like a real beacon of, of hope and opportunity. And it's just lovely to see everyone gathered and enjoying a mindful meadow. May there be many more mindful meadows. And the biodiversity in the meadow is going to take time to get to where we want it to be in terms of biodiversity. And that's the same with our mental well-being as well. Sometimes we just need to give it the time and the space and we hope that this meadow will provide that for people. That has been the critical thing about this project. It's not just us in our, in our bubble thinking that we know what people want. And I would really kind of encourage us to keep doing this, is to, to be asking people, what do you need? Because the National Trust is all about for everyone forever. So we should be really understanding what do people need and how can we make that something that they can experience forever. But doing something like this feels a bit different and that's really important for me. It's, it feels different because actually all of you are here and, and so our partnership feels as if it's grown and included you and that feels really special. We're so pleased that Catherine Cloyd and Green Communities team to be a part of this project and to see the difference that our funding has made. Um, the positive impact that it's going to have on the local community and the environment. It's um, yeah, quite rewarding to be here today and see everyone enjoying. It's a beautiful open space. You can see all the long grasses, beautiful mown paths that you can sort of run your fingers through. Um, there's a gorgeous willow dome, lovely benches and seating areas. There's a cloud bench that you can lie back on and watch the clouds float by and just hear and see all the beautiful wildlife and the birds. So the community groups came up with the initial ideas of how to plan and design the meadow and then we work together with our ranger team and Natural Resources Wales to adapt those plans in a way that best benefited nature. So my involvement in this project has been to facilitate workshops which led to the production of this totem pole here, um, working with two groups, one was Nucus uh, Young Carers and the other one was the North East Wales Mind Group 
and within the workshops we um, talked about how people engaged and connected with nature and we wanted to gather poetry and um, illustrations which could be transferred onto this piece of steel here. The umbrella question really was how do people connect with nature and we wanted to get a real mixture of people's ideas about how they personally engaged and there was such variation in that and we felt like everything could connect back to this space here with the wildlife within it and the time that you could spend here. So we got quite a big group together in the end who all contributed their ideas and talked about what they would, would like to see in the totem pole and then obviously when it was finished everyone was very excited to come back and have a look at it and on that occasion we scattered wildflowers in the meadow. In terms of the, the, the mindfulness meadow um, we've been involved in the last maybe year so some of our carers and volunteers have come and help plant some of the trees, our young carers have been involved in um, designing the totem pole, uh, it's just been a lovely lovely kind of collaboration. They get to be part of the bigger picture, they get to be part of, um, they can see what they've created which is really important but also being out in the out in the open air it just helps reduce their anxieties, it helps calm them down, it helps give them um, definitely a feeling of well-being. I think obviously carers are in their own world a lot of the time, caring for people 24-7 at home and actually to get back out into nature where they can just relax, be themselves, whether they're by themselves or with the person that they care for or families, it's just somewhere that they can go and relax and completely chill. Um, and the access to this is, is just lovely. The fact that we've had involvement in seeing it grow and develop is, is just lovely. I think the main joy for me is the fact that there's so much input from others in this piece of work so as a piece of work in general it's a very collaborative thing so um, I see my pride in being involved in it but I, I felt like I was facilitating it as well so it's really really nice for me. Well, I came first of all to do the tree planting when it was a very raw field basically um, and uh, we, we thoroughly enjoyed that day it was a a meet-up of other carers. My husband came along with me and he helped as well. Um, I think it's nice to meet other carers and the fresh air and the beautiful settings here and also because it's open to the public my husband and I can come here at our own time and just walk around peacefully read some of the poetry that's on the board and um, it is such a relaxing place. He's a photographer and he has actually taken photographs of the site and um, he enjoys doing that, going home, processing things and um, he's had a lot of benefit from it. We know not just as a trust but everybody, all the research is now showing how good it is for people's well-being to be out in nature. Uh, whether it's just simply sitting in a field and relaxing, whether it's bird watching, whether it's just looking at the trees or the clouds. We know how important that is for people and people's well-being and their health. So that's why we decided to do this. I think my favourite bit is probably the fire pit. Um, so when we've been here before, we've helped to plant the trees. We've sat around there um, and had a cup of tea at the end of the day and that's just been my favourite bit. I just like the wildflower meadow. It's, it's so relaxing to just walk through the grass and in the spring it was particularly vibrant with the flowers and that will only develop as time goes on. Okay, my favourite bit of the meadow, the leaning posts. I love them, you can just literally lean back on them, look up at the sky and just forget about everything else. It's really beautiful. I like it because it's a haven for insects. So it's lovely that you can sit and you can just see little insects floating round you know and there was a little girl here earlier and she said look at this I've got a ladybird. My favourite part is the willow dome um, so you can sit in there and feel quite cocooned by nature but also look out at the, uh, the extent of the meadow and, and see all the, the butterflies and the birds. What's been really lovely is to see how the groups have grown in confidence throughout the course of the project through to its completion um, and to see those groups and individuals now coming to use and enjoy the space that they have poured their passion and care into is just such a joy um, because we all have times in our lives when we need to find that sense of quiet and a place to reflect and the Mindful Meadow is providing that and will provide that for years to come.